I don't know how to tell you this, but today is your last working day with Uber. Sorry. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about Uber deactivating 3,500 employees and I'm gonna show you the three minute Zoom call that it happened on. Now, I told everybody, Uber and Lyft are never gonna be the same after this whole pandemic is over with and everybody always should have backup plans, okay? It doesn't matter if you're W-2, 1099, you need to always have backup plans and of course, passive income is definitely the best thing to start you know, looking into and trying to have. Because, damn, things like this can happen to anyone at any time. You are always expendable, people. The only way not to be expendable is to work for yourself. When you're the boss, then everything is okay. Now, uh, go ahead and watch as this choked up executive tells 3,500 rideshare employees they are being deactivated effective immediately over this three-minute Zoom call right here. For the foreseeable future, our business will be smaller as fewer people are taking trips and our size will have to be rationalized based on business need. Right now, the rides business is down by more than half due to COVID-19. With trip volume down, the difficult and unfortunate reality is there is not enough work for many frontline customer support employees. As a result, we are eliminating 3,500 frontline customer support roles. Your role is impacted, and today will be your last working day with Uber. You will remain on payroll until the date noticed in your severance package. I know that this is incredibly hard to hear, No one wants to be on a call like this. With everyone remote and a change of this magnitude, we had to do this in a way that allowed us to tell you as quickly as possible so that you did not hear it from the rumor mill. I also wanted to deliver this news personally and just take a brief moment to thank you for your contributions to Uber. I know that this is a lot to take in. I'm gonna turn it over shortly to HR, who is going to talk through the next steps and what this means for you. There is no need to take notes. You will receive a follow-up email from HR. Camilla. So as Ruffin mentioned, you will receive an email from HR and there will be details around your service package, such as information on your benefits, your outplacement ser services, and other important information. So when you receive this email from HR, make sure you do two things. Number one, update your personal information in Workday so we can reach you out for further details. And number two, forward this information to your personal email address. We will be cutting off system access shortly, within one hour for, from this uh, webinar. I know that you are all feeling many emotions right now. This decision was an incredibly difficult one to make as we know how many lives are affected. We're going to do everything we can to support you. You can reach us at Uber, HR help at uber.com. You will also get this information in your follow-up email. Thank you again, thank you for your contributions to Uber. Thank you, everyone. Now we're closing this call now. Go straight to deactivation. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Now, these employees know exactly how drivers feel because we can be deactivated without a Zoom call just like that. Now, this wasn't the first time that this lady had to do this. So when she tried to do some little tears, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm deeply saddened. No, she don't care. She's still getting her money, right? Now, what happened to that uh, 10 million cushion and everything else they had? Now you guys know where it came from, right? Right? They're going to have to start taking it from 
the referral bonuses. They're deactivating uh, employees. They're taking all these funds to make sure they stay afloat. Hence why Dara said, you know, I'm going to forego without getting my payment for this year. Like, give me a break with all that crap. Um, and in February, she she also was tasked with informing 80 staff that they were losing their jobs when Uber shut down its Los Angeles customer support office. So like I said, she's had practice in this. The business has been devastated by this pandemic and a company filing on Wednesday revealed around 3,700 roles will be cut from its global workforce, roughly 14% of its 26,900 employees. And I made a video on that as well. But they didn't expect it to happen this quick. It said the cuts will be made among the customer support and recruiting teams because obviously no new people are trying to go on right now. The drivers they do have, a lot of them don't even want to drive. Who wants to go out there and risk getting infected or anything on this chump change that they're handing out? I know I don't, and that's why I'm not. And it says customer support and recruiting teams, obviously, but customer support. Drivers need the support for the people that are out there and something comes up. These drivers need to be able to get a hold of somebody. It says the dri driving number will be largely unaffected, but that's not true. When drivers start having issues and aren't being able to get a hold of somebody, they're going to get frustrated and pissed off and sign off and stay off as well. It says the company expects to incur about $20 million in cost for severance and related charges. The filing review. So now we're going to get to my favorite part, and this is what the former Uber employee had to say about all this. It was a 3,700 person live Zoom call, she said. It was controlled. I would prefer to have had notice. The day before, we were told that we would know in two weeks what departments would be let go. They gave us no notice. If I missed that Zoom call, I would have missed the news. We knew they didn't have the driver's backs, but they don't have anyone's backs. Now, with them saying that, if you already knew they don't care what happens to drivers at all because we're expendable, what made you think that that couldn't happen to you? And this is exactly like I said, guys, have your backup plans. But if you already knew they're doing wrong to one set of people, you know they're going to do the same thing to the other ones. That's common sense right there, guys. That's common sense. They had to say that the employee continued. They send us severance and stuff, but they're not telling us anything, which sounds like Uber, right? It's worldwide, but there were like 50 people laid off in my office alone. They were going based on a lottery, like Russian roulette. The severance package is generous, but they're treating us like they treat the drivers, she continued, referring to Uber's less than stellar reputation and fairly compensating their independent contractors. Last I recall, when we get deactivated, we don't get jack diddly squat. So you guys should be happy, happy that you're getting some kind of severance at all. I mean, let's be honest right there. And then after that, it says Uber is doing unemployment claims for people they've laid off. She said, they taught us how to do that stuff, and then the next day fired us. Damn, if that's not a slap in the face, I don't know what is. But at least they took the time to teach them that, right? So that way they, these people could hopefully start collecting some money. <laughs> no, it's still not cool. That sucks, all right? Apparently, someone at the CEO level leaked that this was going to happen, so they expedited it. So when we made the video last week saying that 3,700 employees were getting laid off nationwide, I guess we weren't, no one was supposed to know about that. So they said, well, since you know, let's just make it happen right now. And that's why they were complaining, saying they had almost no warning at all. And it says, the employee tells DailyMail.com, which is where this article's from, and I will have this linked in the description below, that more layoffs at Uber are expected, which... It's what we can all expect. I mean, how else are they going to fill up that $10 million that they said they had? Like I said, it was all bogus BS PR. They were making it up just to save face. But now you know where the money's really coming from, guys. And then it says, they're still not done getting rid of people. The way they've gone about it is very negative, she said. Uber has empathy training, and they teach us to be sympathetic to other people's needs, but they're not practicing what they preach, which is obviously, right? Do as I say, not as I do. And with all that sympathetic training, well, they sure as hell don't care when they deactivate a driver. It's just, you are deactivated. This is final. Good day. Peace out. That, that, that's, that's what you get. You don't get the talk to anybody or anything else. We get deactivated over emails. At least you had an in-person Zoom call. It says, right now, all we're getting is a severance, but they can change their mind on that if they want to, which is true, and that does suck. 
And that goes back to if you had backups to your backups and everything else, the severance wouldn't be such a big thing. You would already be prepared. But that is kind of bogus if they're going to say they're going to give you the severance and then take it away. But it could happen. They need that money. They need that money. It also says Uber has been decimated by the COVID-19 lockdown with far fewer people booking rides as they stay home, which we already all know that, right? I'm not going out there. Are you going out there? Said the company posted a net loss of $2.9 billion on Thursday and announced it was implementing a hiring freeze as well as cutting thousands of jobs from its corporate workforce. So all those people that are unemployed now and need to try to sign up and run make some extra money, you ain't going to be able to do it. And all the people that are sitting there thinking they're cushy and they're, you know, they're good having the Uber as their job, be careful. I'm telling you, it could be you next. And they even say in here, CEO Dara Kawakazi, Kawasaki, whatever you want to say, will not be paid for the rest of the year. His salary was set for $1 million in 2019 with a possible bonus of $2 million. Boo freaking who. He already made, what, $38, $40 million last year? He's, he's good. A memo said to staff on Wednesday saw... Kawasaki hint that more cuts may be on the way. Like, they're being shady about it. He ain't even going to just say more cuts are on the way. They're going to hint to it. That's kind of messed up. He said, we are looking at many scenarios at, at each and every cost, both variable and fixed, across the company. We want to be smart, to move fast, to retain as many of our great people as we can, and treat everyone with dignity, support, and respect. <coughs> Woo, I'm allergic to that BS because that's the way I'm taking it right there, guys. I don't know about you, but that just sounds like definitely some PR BS. You know, he didn't even write that. A spokesperson for Uber said, It's never easy or uncomplicated to let employees go, and that's only been more true during this unprecedented period. Where we are all working from home across dozens of cities and countries, we focused on providing the clearest, most empathetic experience possible and have put together a strong severance package and other benefits, which if those benefits and packages hold together, that'll be really good for all those people that need it because times is tough right now. And like I've said before, with unemployment being as, as high as it is, it's, 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 it's crazy. Hasn't been this high since the freaking great depression. Well, there's not many jobs out there. And then all these people, if they're trying to collect on other gigs, you know, sign up with Instacart or DoorDash, those also have a cap. All right. And it's so, it, it, it's so full of all these other new people that there's nowhere to go. And let's be honest, unemployment benefits, severage package, all that stuff only lasts you so long. It's eventually going to run out and you're going to have to do what? Find another job or another gig some other way, some other means to make more money. That's just how it's going to go. have to go down. It's going to have to happen like that, guys. And I hope everybody else that is not in this boat has been looking at all this, see how they treat us as drivers, which we already knew this, see how they treat their own damn employees, and then think to yourself, is this a company you still want to continue working for when everything goes back? Personally, for me, I'm still going to do it just as part-time, but that's just because that's what this has always been for me. It's just some extra kind of money. Plus, you know, hopefully I get some content for my channel or something like that. And I enjoy doing it. I like meeting other people, ma making new connections and stuff like that. That's what I like doing. So I will continue doing this, but this is no way in shape or form like any majority part of my income. So if I lose Uber or decide to walk away from them, wash my hands, I can do that and be just fine. Now, I don't know about how, how many other people can say the same thing, but that's what I'm telling you. If you can, use their little schooling program or something like that. If you were eligible to use that, use everything you can from them. Use them because the simple fact is they've been using you for years, so you might as well strike back while you can. And to all these employees that had this happen, as much as I hate to say it, I'm sorry it did happen to you, but you should have seen it coming. Just saying. But all right, guys, as always, check the description below for extra information and tips. Please be safe out there. Use common sense. Get those backup plans in order or start doing it right now. And until next time, guys, Uber on or down. Peace out.